Cisco. I didn't really prepare to talk, so uh, I'm really prepared. You don't have to prepare. You already know what you're going to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I'll try to talk in English because mostly I uh, don't really. Oh, okay, you need to interpret it. That's okay. That's okay. I, because I'm not going. Olga almost tell everything. <laughs> what I want to just say, I have a big privilege to be in Chicago with Pastor Larry and Pastor Olga, and I am um, so happy, you know, to to be there. And gosh, I just have a two days testimony for my friends, and I already bring my friends today over here, you know, because I just um, tell my friends and all my family. Um, what God can do, the miracle stuff for people, um, especially for us, for people who are Christian, who all, I don't know if we can say Christian, but know God whole life and never walk uh, with the truth, you know. So, um, so your personal experience, what did you experience in uh, this conference? Um, gosh, the, the, the spirit. The spirit. God's, God's spirit. God's spirit. It was like the um, the Congress was so powerful. I don't even want to go home, believe it or not. <laughs> I just don't even want to go home. This was like so powerful. Um, especially the first day for me, it's not was very powerful because I was kind of you know and that that yeah. was get hard for me yeah. to begin the first day. But when God start working. My heart, everything changed. Second day was better, but third day it was like dramatically changed everything. It was like praising God, and uh, we just had a big experience to be with uh, God. Amen. Amen. Asking the question, I don't even know, because too much stuff for these three days was it happened. Yeah. How people was praise the God, I cannot even explain it. I never see that in my life. Do you, do you remember how the people was dancing? Dancing. Um, oh, sing. yes, the image of the drunk and the spirit, the dancing yeah. and the Lord. I mean, that was just awesome, awesome. I and I, so in my heart, I was like, Lord, I wish we see some young people will see those who go to the bars and restaurants and they, they can see that and how, how it can be wonderful to be in the presence of God, rejoicing in the Lord, and dancing, and I mean, just awesome. And you miss awesome. awesome. Yeah. And especially, um, um, first when I met Boris um, Cyril, you know, I didn't even know that the, the, the man has so powerful, like, you know, like whatever he done, you can maybe explain more, but for me it was, uh, whatever God opened for him to tell people and to bring people, you know, um, to the ceremony. You know, like for me it was very, very interesting that stuff. Amen. How God Amen. talked to him. Yeah. Now, how do you think it's going to affect your life from that, from that, from that day until? Oh, uh, in, in in my life, um, like I, like I said before, um, like I have like a lot of families here. They know I like whole life. I I know God, but I never know from all my heart. I never feel that spirit, and especially you guys was witness when I was very sick. I came like two or three weeks ago, and the God healed me. I was in a big depression. I lost my job, and you lost your job. I didn't know that. I was in the mortgage business for eight years, and, and, wow. and everything, you know, I, like two years, I don't even work in mortgage business. That's why I start doing something else. Oh. It's like, oh. it's not, not what I was doing. Okay. And I was really disappointed to, to lose my job, and and I just get in a big depression. And spend like three times a week in the, in the hospital. The, the doctor have a hard time to find out the problem. They give me depression pills. But finally, what I want to say, uh, depression is gone, you know, it, it, Amen. Uh, that's Amen. it. <laughs> because so what that doctor couldn't do, in less than five minutes, God did. Yes, yes, wow. amen. So, um, and I just feel that that Sunday when I come out, when, when you, Pastor, was praying for me, when um, uh, inside my body, it was like whole like warm stuff going all my body, and I knew I got healed at that day. But I wasn't sure, you know, whole week I was like, wasn't sure if I'm healed or not. <laughs> but I feel great, and after that, that was very good decision, whatever I go with you guys, and I have like, 
hundred percent. I know I, I got healed. And the main things, um, the, what I want to say, if you're not close with the God, if you walk, you read the Bible, but you're not very close with your spirit, you don't walk with your spirit, um, the devil take the place in your body, and you just, um, if you don't walk with the spirit, you just ill, what is called, um, and you just get sick, your body get ill from your inside, just uh, parasite all your uh, organs of your body. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what happened to me. I have a hurt inside, and everything, everything was affect all my body. I was ill, all my life was ill. So it's pretty much like a spiritual sickness. Sickness, spiritual, That correct. is caused, finally, you know, a, a touch the body, the body is a spiritual sickness, it's Correct. not something, you know, because like you said, you went to the doctor, and the doctor was not able to find anything, yes. so when you to saw the root, and God was able to root it out, yes. and heal your spirit, and it's manifest in your body. And right. you tell me that the power of God was so strong, that you felt the heat going on through your body. Yes, that was like all my body. I just feel like it was like hit all over when I was like, I cannot even explain what, uh, you know, uh, this type of but stuff, see, you cannot explain it really much. You <laughs> see, I'm glad you telling, I'm glad you sharing this because people, now you know that this is not a work of a man. No. no. This is a work of I God. Because okay. only God, only God can can set her free the way she was set free. She was standing right here in the floor. We were sitting, we were sitting in another room. We were standing in the floor, and, and I prayed for her. Then all of a sudden, I took my hands back, and God began to surround her. And the presence of God began to just fall upon her, just like he started falling here right now. Yeah, amen. Amen. He began to fall upon her, and she began to cry like a baby. Yeah. Hallelujah. How many was here that day? Yes, I see. You was here? Yes. Amen. I just recognized she's Nadia's sister. Yes. Are you? Yeah. Because I see her face. This, like, sister. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't ask Nadia, but I know. But the thing, the thing is that when we trust God, no matter what it is, God can make all things well. Yes, amen. amen. But the God take me to that point because normally Talk to people, the, um, the God um, take me to that point because to that point I didn't have that. Um, I would you like. Uh, desire, desire. Desiring, desire, you know, to come to the God that calls. But then I became very ill and stay like um, three times in emergency a week. And the doctor started giving me that um, depression pill, depression pill. And I got depressed and started crying every day. Mm-hmm. And I was like praying, but I didn't have a big belief. You know, praying like to the wall. I I know I'm praying, but it just like um, you didn't feel you, if you have a spiritual insight. Amen. 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 Well, praise the Lord. We serve a good God. Yes, yes. And one more thing. Okay. I bring this lady. She going to the big church. Uh, she doesn't even understand uh, English. Uh, but then she came to my house today and I told her what happened. How was the trip? She was so excited and she said, I really want to, I really want to meet that pastor. I really want if he can, you know, just pray for me. And when you pray today, she got uh, very, you know, like she feel this was very powerful for her. She yeah. feel, and she said, she has today some different place to go to church. Uh, uh, somebody dies, you know, she got to go. And like Christmas, she said, you know what? I'm going to see you. I really want to, I really want to pray. <laughs> so it's a praise God. The people, um, after when you pray, she just changed her mind. And she said, I really want to go to see you. Okay. God is a good God.